Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mampolo from Mampolo Scanner. Rene Amaisa. Guys, APC don't they fight within themselves. <laughs> They're not the only fight PDP now. They don't they fight within themselves. <laughs> Pastor Tunde Bakare, they don't attack him. <laughs> APC don't attack Pastor Tunde Bakare. <laughs> and you know, say Pastor Tunde Bakare, you know, you know, go quick quiet. You know, they keep quiet. APC don't attack him because he said in the previous video when I post, say the politics of Emi Loko is bad. <laughs> He said, he said the politics of Emi Loko are not good. He said, it's, it's, it's a politics of self-entitlement. APC can come for him. <laughs> within, within the same party, Pastor Tunde Bakare is an APC member. <laughs> the people want to attack and ask them APC. So APC don't leave. Not the only PDP, they fight on ourselves. Even all my fellow members don't they fight on APC. <laughs> well, I know too much. They said Tunde Bakare, one of you win half vote, half. <laughs> so what he got and I'm not. So who give and the who give and the temerity and the effrontery to talk where people where people when the politician they, they they talk who give and the who give and the other city I can't say Jesus so person not go talk for this person not go talk for this country again because he failed <laughs> person person not go talk for this country again because say you know that zero you know because say you get not to vote because say you get talk you know get talk you vote oh well, I not too much for those who think I, I'm making it up let's watch video Sorry. watch. Pastor Tunde Bakari, the serving overseer of the Citadel Global Community Church, has been trending on social media after tackling critics who opposed his State of the Nation address on Sunday, January 15th. Bakari took a swipe at the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, during a live broadcast stating that politicians who practice the Amy Lokon kind of politics do not intend to serve the people. The Presidential Campaign Council of the All Progressives Congress, in responding to Bakari, said that a man who got zero votes at a primary election deserves no serious attention and described him as a political paperweight. Well, Tunde Bakari hit back at the APC asking why his utterances were given any thought if he was truly a political paperweight, further stating that maybe their alleged paperweight is too heavy for them to carry. I am prepared for vicious attacks from all and major presidential hopefuls and their agents who by now concluded that I'm against them. Is that right? One of such attacks came yesterday. Mm. Listen to what they wrote about the State of the Nation broadcast. I'm quoting them. A man who got zero four votes Jesus. at primary election deserves no serious attention. Question, why did they then respond? A man who got zero votes at primary election deserves no serious attention. He's a political paperweight mm. whose utterances should not be given a serious thought. Oh dear. Can someone tell these people that scoring zero in a primary election with one's true identity and integrity intact, as well as having original credentials from all well-known schools, primary, secondary, colleges, university, within and outside of this nation is a veritable badge of honor, absolutely legit and unquestionable. Please tell them that in the words of Michel de Montaigne, there are some defeats more triumphant than victories. You know, I love that. There are some defeats more triumphant than victory. Don, uh, Dr. Bati, today Bakar is your friend, so I'm, <laughs> I'm giving you the room here to speak. No, just to look at the point. Yes. I mean, if you make a statement, you must expect a response. Yes. On January 15, uh, Pastor Bakari gave that exclusive yes. sermon in which it was... Uh, talking about, you know, some people having a sense of entitlement and how a sense of entitlement will lead to an imperial uh, presidency that is not in the best interest of Nigerians and how the objective should be good governance, okay? And then he talked about what should be the priorities for the average uh, Nigerian, getting people who deliver good governance, not people who think that they are entitled. And he used this phrase, Emilokon, although he did not mention the name no. of the candidate of we the know. APC, but as a lawyer, he knows that there's something called innuendo. So if you 
you know, make your innuendo so clear, everybody will know. So the uh, APC people replied, they called him a paperweight. And then he has replied again, you know, exercising his own right of reply Absolutely. this time around. But, you know, as a pastor, he has the right to have his own opinions. The pulpit is used, you know, to uh, conscientize the people, either in Christian manner or in political manner. And it is wrong for anybody to say a pastor cannot discuss politics. Why not? He has been in politics since uh, the early 2000s. In fact, I think he was detained at the time uh, by uh, even the, I think the Obasanjo government detained him. He was involved in the uh, protest for good governance for democracy in Nigeria from even 1999 up till uh, even 2012 and beyond. In 2011, he was a candidate of the uh, of the, uh, uh, was it the APC at the time or was it the ACN? He was running mate to uh, the uh, then uh, candidate, uh, Muhammad Buhari, who is now president. So he's, he's been in the political space. So to say he's a paperweight, I think he's just saying, oh, if his words don't carry weight, then why respond to him? But we're going to get a lot of this. Endorsements, protests, contestations, but all we just want is a very, credible electoral process that provides the opportunity for the average Nigerian to make an informed choice. Absolutely, Ayo, really quickly. Very quickly, another thing he said in that statement was that they had accused him of, of um, telling his members to vote in a particular way. And he said that his members were not zombies and no. it was a doctored video. It was a sermon he had preached some years ago which the, you know, some mis mischief makers had gone to be, um, you know, seem as if he was telling people who to vote for. He said people had a right to choose whomever they wanted to vote for. No one has the right to tell you who to vote for and Nigerians should go out on February 25 and March 11 based on what they have seen and credibility of candidates choose whom they feel is the best person to be their leader. Well said, both of you. Thank you again, as always. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you very much, Jamaica. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Oh, no, I don't watch the video now. Oh, no, I trust Pastor Tunde Bakare. <laughs> he go give you back. <laughs> the best is not to respond to Rambo if you don't want to collect more. <laughs> So, so he gives them back to Tunubu. <laughs> he said, better, he better say you fail, but he gets a certificate. <laughs> he did credible. They know they accuse him about one or two things. So he did indirectly tell us, say, Tunubu no get a certificate. <laughs> you know, they verified. That's what he's telling us indirectly. <laughs> he said he got his own certificate right from primary school. So make, uh, make Baba Tunubu bring it on. <laughs> so he better say you fail, honorably. Then say that they accuse and say, you know, get certificate, you know, get this one, he falsify this one, you know, the authentic, you know, the genuine, like as they tell uh, uh, the one when they attack him. So, <laughs> say, but I may fail. It is more honorable to fail than to win, than to win, and you are, you are not legit. Than to win accusation full for your head. He said, you know, one time. You know, not to know about the game out, say, pastors, they game out too much. <laughs> you know, no, no, leave them, concentrate on your. On your Emilocon, Emilocon politics. Leave them alone. Continue your political campaign as you do your Emilocon political campaign. You better continue with that. Guys, if you love what I do, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram on Twitter, even on TikTok. All I'm on political. I love you guys. Peace out.